What's up YouTube? In this week's video blog, I want to share a little insight that I had with you the night before my first Sonda fight. Coming up right after this. All right, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of my video blog. This week I want to talk about um, like an insight that I had. It was pretty radical for me. I mean, it was definitely changed my entire experience of training since then. And it took place the night before uh, my first big Sonda fight. I don't know if they're actually connected, but that's when it happened anyway. So um, my first my first Sanda match, which if you're not familiar with Sanda, is like three quarters MMA. It's uh, punching, kicking, like stand up grappling. Any takedown is legal, but no ground fighting. So anyway, uh, you know there we were in Texas because uh, we were going to be. I was going to be fighting at the uh, at the time it was called the Legends of uh, or it was Tai Chi Legacy. Now it's called the Legends of Kung Fu. Uh, tournament that is put on by the Jingwu Association every year there in Texas and uh, so I was really excited you know of course I'm there for my first full contact fight and then also I thought I was going to be spending the weekend just me and Sifu uh, which is always a nice treat because you know there's so many students now and uh, you know Sifu is a popular guy so it's hard to get some one-on-one -on -one time with him and uh, but then as it turns out that wasn't the case because some of the other students came from New York and they were staying with us in the hotel so uh, you know I'm just up you know everyone else is asleep I'm up with nerves you know thinking about the fight that's going to be the next day and uh, thinking about like ah, oh, you know I thought I was going to have the whole weekend alone with Sifu and uh, you know and then you start thinking you know it's like the ego always comes into play so I was thinking about like, oh, I'm the best student and I deserve blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, then all of a sudden, I don't know, just out of the blue, like it occurred to me that uh, even if that was true, even if I was at that moment, like the, the best of all the students that Sifu had, but nothing else had, was different. You know, like me, I'm, my level was still the same, but at that level, at that time, I was the best. I still had the exact same amount of work left to do as whether or not I was, you know, whether I was first, best, or last and worst, I had the same amount of work left to do to get to where I wanted to go regardless. And I just sort of had like this um, epiphany that it's not about like anybody else like wherever anybody else is on the spectrum of, of their progress it doesn't it doesn't matter it has like no relationship to you in terms of like what you're working on um, or and what I was working on I guess I should say and uh, so that totally changed my perspective on training since then and uh, it took a lot of that ego you know out of that whole process which made, you know, really, I have to say, that makes for a much more enjoyable training process because not only can you be happy about and celebrate your own victories and your own progress, but you can be happy and celebrate the progress of others as well. And when it comes down to it, the most important thing about like what we're doing with martial arts or with any group that you're participating in as far as like some activity is that community that you're building out of it. And if you're not able to step back and take your own self like out of that process and be able to enjoy the excess the successes of others encourage the successes of others participate in the successes of others you're not getting the most out of you know what it is that you're actually doing and additionally you like you will never never be able to make a good instructor and when it comes down to it like for us let's say like at my generation if you're like one of my peers, let's say, we're responsible for carrying the arts into the next generation. And if you can't take your own ego out of the picture to be able to, like I say, celebrate or particip um, participate in and encourage the successes of others, then whatever art it is that you're doing, whether it's BJJ, whether it's some kind of Kung Fu or Karate, Muay Thai, then it doesn't matter and there's, it's not going to help the people who are training under you or training with you. All right, so that's it for this week's video blogs. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that one and gave you something to think about. What do you guys think about that? Go ahead and leave me a comment below. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, um, I try to release videos three times a week. Monday is my video blog series. 
Wednesday is Off the Mats, where we talk about tips and tricks and product reviews for your martial arts lifestyle and active lifestyle. And Friday is my On the Mat series, where we talk specifically about martial arts. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. And on Friday is uh, my... I totally went blank right there. I fought that beeping. <laughs> you did so good. I fought that you beeping. Did so good. <clears throat>